I will do this video now in uh, two parts. The first one is in English and the second part in Finnish. And uh, to start with, after a hard day's work, there is nothing, nothing like a whiskey and ginger. I take this one twice, maybe three times a year. That's not too often. That's not every weekend. On a weekend we might have the fitness vodka or a chest of beer, depending on where we are going, what we are doing. And where are we going? Well, for me, up on the roof, on the top, on a high. Why whiskey today? I did promise to my, I did not promise, I just told myself and to my wife that uh, when the, the roof of my extension is done, then I will take the whiskey. But today I had to drive 45 kilometers to the local hardware store for nothing just for nothing, but I needed it. There is a special membrane. It's a plastic, it keeps the water up and under the plastic the membrane there is a soft tissue that prevents the condensation. That comes under the final roof in my case, it's steel plates. Okay. This one, this part was done about two months ago. Then I have the other part. And the other part, there is a shed underneath. The old shed that built, I don't know, the 70s, 60s, 50s, whenever it is. It's been built, it's about approximately 20, 25 square meters in two parts. Just a normal small thing that you will find on the countryside in Finland. There you can store some wood or whatever you do. I did not take that down because in a way it's in a sound condition. And uh, the roof is a little bit lower and I calculated that uh, it would work. But finally, when I started really to put those things in a true way, height here, there and there, in the same level as this part, it turned out to be that the outside is about close to 20 centimeters maybe 17-18 centimeters higher than the other part. And I had my measurements taken from that side. I did not calculate that it would be higher on that part. No, I didn't. But I did that. Just using uh, power tools, I got my, what do you say, rafters or whatever, the top part to the roof. There. And the final inspection turned out to be on level zero, 0 Absolutely straight. I do amaze myself occasionally. Well, tomorrow we had a plan to go to South to visit my mother. She's got the lung cancer or something like that anyway and she's fading away. And on a return to see my daughters, grand, my grandchildren, and uh, stay overnight and then returning back and uh, then I had to cancel that trip over the next week because day after tomorrow on a Friday, it's Wednesday today, Thursday, tomorrow, and so on a Friday we'll get the thunderstorm. And uh, sometimes the thunderstorms here can turn out to be nasty, very nasty. 
And I had this one clear out. In a way, I used the power tools to make small openings to the roof, so I got it down the, in there. Too much opening, and my tar, the plastic thing over there, everything but it's very old one, very, very old one, and there's a hose and it's leaking. And this morning I took away some additional things because by this time everything should have been done as it should. Okay, let it come. Any thunderstorm, let it come all the rain. My place here will be dry, bone dry. No way. I open at my. Just a minute. Ah. Oh, look at it, old. Old. My legs don't like to do what I hope to do. This one. On this side is a clear plastic, and on the other side is this other thing that prevents the conversation. So I needed two more pieces from this one, length 6.2 meters, and I got in here, started to roll it out, and what did I get? Four meters. Four meters. And I needed at least two, six by six point two meters. And I got only four meters. So what did I get? First, to cancel my trip, to my mother tomorrow to drive 45 kilometers to the hardware shop and when I went to the hardware shop I told the man there in Finnish Nyt vitutta. It's a Finnish word. I'm very very pissed off in a very bad way. Something that if you say that in English it's beep 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 beep. After the many arguments, actually from this one, they told me I can get 60 square meters. I got 30 square meters here, 30 square meters there. It's 60 square meters. It should be okay. No, it wasn't. I'm missing two times. Uh, 6 meters, 6.2 or so, 12 meters, a little bit more. And I only got 4 here. Something is wrong, so I got then a half of the size. This white one. But it's done now. And uh, tomorrow I will continue with the hardware, uh, with the ribs. Um, wooden strings, um, well the woodwork, you will see that, but anyway it, it, it doesn't always go as you are planning it to do what, what you are planning to do. There's a hiccup somewhere and when I'm living about 45 kilometers from the next city that's 90 kilometers just to drive down to get the back of cigarettes or a, a one liter of milk well, my son told me and uh, many other people, why did you move on the countryside? Well, we paid uh, for this location, this house, the forest and the woods and everything, one tenth what you will pay for a small two bed, one bedroom apartment in uh, Helsinki. No, mm, far less, far less far away from that, what a one bedroom would cost in Helsinki. Anyway, here I am sitting, telling you my story for today. 
we will continue. And I pray for that. Und für meine deutsche Freund? Hm. Was habe ich? Ja. Ah, bitte, bitte. Das ist alles. Und nächste Woche? Auf Wiedersehen.